And so I get to I get to Hong Kong. I'm there for two days, layover, <clears throat> and my watch is gone. I realized, oh, I left it in the in the hotel because <clears throat> I left so fast. I left it on the counter. Oh my God! Call them. It's not there. They can't find it. I'm so disappointed. Not because of the what kind of watch it was, because of what it represented. Yeah. I get back to Sedona. I'm like, man, I'm so bummed. This is I'm tired. I'm jet lagged. You know, 30 hours of traveling, whatever. And and I'm about to go to sleep. And the Lord says, call it back. You know how that works. You've seen it before. And I had. I said, but Lord, I, like I just don't have. I don't feel it. And it's not feeling. It's just He's telling me call it back. I had zero feeling of glory. I was exhausted. I wasn't in a good mood. I was wow. tired. And I did it with an attitude. But he told me to do it. This is the difference. I said, fine. I mean, I just want to go to bed. It's midnight here. In Jesus' name, I command my watch to come back somewhere where I can find it. Amen. I'm going to bed. I go, I, I go to bed. <laughs> we all get a little cranky sometimes. I go to bed. And then two hours later, he wakes me up in the middle of the night. He goes, check your, your carry-on. And it was right below me next to the bed. I said, Lord, you know it's not there. We checked it a million times. He goes, now open it. Your zipper, front zipper. I pull it. Put my hand in it and it pulls right out. No like, way. Oh my oh, gosh. Come on. That's happened with passports that we lost in Israel. That's happened with <laughs> just many different things because the future, first of all, there's no distance on, on the earth. In the glory realm, there's no distance of time or space. God can pull things back, you know. And if He can transport you personally, eight hour trip and I'm there in an hour and a half, uh, th- a one hour trip, I'm there in 15 minutes, three hour trip, I was there in like 40 minutes, bumper, bumper traffic, suddenly, boom, I'm in front of the church. This has happened many times. And so he started giving me, but then he started giving me understanding of how it happens. And, I, and once you have the revelation on how, you start to see it more often. It's a living a lifestyle of in the glory. But then even though you're tired and all that, you had a rhema a word from the Lord to, to command the watch to come back. And then it did. Yeah. What else is the secrets to doing something like that? Because I bet you, I bet you right now, everybody online can chat in something they lost and they want to have that they would like to have back. Yeah. What well, else? I think so, so part of it is revelation. If you don't have the revelation, you're like, how the heck could God do that? But I started having a revelation that every created object has a sound wave inside it. God puts sound in everything. Like a chair I'm sitting on is atoms, protons, neutrons holding it up. But inside that, the smallest particle is a sound wave. And that sound can hear God say, praise me, worship me. Psalms 148 said everything that has breath, everything that wow. exists, praise the Lord. And he mentions it's like snow, trees, rocks hills, whatever, birds, creatures of the of the earth. So everything created, rocks, whatever, <clears throat> can hear you command it. So when you're in the glory and you command, like God told Moses, speak to the rock, it'll turn to water. How could a rock hear you? Because it has sound waves that can respond to human voice commands. Wow. In the glory, if it's in the glory. It doesn't hear your voice. It actually hears God's voice when you're repeating a rhema word. Mm. And so that's why, like you see metal, right? Metals, like you do. Yeah. Metals, turn back to, turn back to bone. Yep. How does the metal? How does the metal hear you? It's, it, I thought it's just an inanimate object. No, it can hear you. He spoke to a fig tree. It died. He spoke to the wind and waves. So then you realize, wait, okay. So the they, the object can hear me. My watch can hear me. And there's no distance of time or space when you're in the glory. Yep. So I come and watch. I know you can hear me. See revelation. And I and I command you to come back now. With now you have faith because you have revelation. So revelation actually brings faith. Versus, oh, I don't know how you could do this. David mentioned something about. Objects can be, tra- I don't know how, okay, Lord, if you can do it, I guess try it, Lord, amen, do it. But you're like, kind of like, ah, I don't know if this is going to work because you don't have the revelation. Now you know that you know, even, even Joshua commanded the sun to stand still and it, it obeyed. I mean, that's crazy, crazy, but good. So then you say, okay, cancer, instead of going, oh, Lord, please heal grandma with cancer. She's a good woman and she loves you and she goes to church and she tithes. And you're trying to name all the works that she does, hoping she'll get healed. That Instead of cancer, I know you can hear me, die, suck up. And boom, it just dies, you know? <laughs> That's how I would pray to it. I exactly. would be praying. I, oh, I'm, do, I'm doing the Katie Susan version. Die, sucker. Okay, I love that. <laughs> okay, so look, do you think, can you walk people through it? Can you walk people through all the stuff they've lost? Chat in, guys, what you've lost, if you haven't already. And uh, can you walk people through it? Because all right. so, I can okay, think yeah. of piles of stuff that I've lost that I want back. So, okay, so you're worshiping the Lord, you're praising Him, fast songs, breakthrough songs, and you worship. Ooh, it's getting stronger. Ooh, strong, strong, strong. You're waiting on the Lord. Oh, the glory's so strong. And now you go, okay, Lord, in Jesus' name, I command this thing to come in a place that I can find it. And then you leave it with the Lord. That's what I learned. Because if you take it back, the stress and the anxiety doesn't work. So I was in the gym, and I lost, left my wallet. <clears throat> and, our, and in my wallet was my driver's license, all my stuff. And it was in the gym, for sure. And, sit on it. and they said, oh, we don't know where it is. Someone grabbed it. It's not anywhere. I'm checking everything. 
So I was like, oh, man. So I started to create. I got in the glory, decreed it. And then the Lord said, now don't worry about it anymore. Mm. Okay. Mm. So I tried to just go about my day. Mm. And, then I, and then I go to my car. And there it is on the seat. But it wasn't on the seat because I checked the car. I checked every, literally on the seat. I mean, I checked the, the car three, four times. <laughs> you would think of me in a hidden uh, under the chair. It's sitting on the chair. It's impossible because I had checked the car four times and, and I knew <laughs> I left it in the gym. So what I'm saying is, I'm giving you little tips on how this works. Yeah, I love And the more that. you do it, it's like a muscle, the more, but, you know, also it's, be, it's good to not lose things all the time. You can try to do that too. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. I like the part, though, about not losing stuff the best. No, I like the part about, you know, let it go. Once you pray, like, okay, I, I can't find my wallet. Oh, my God, where's my wallet? Oh, my God, where's my wallet? If you keep on doing that, you're releasing a negative sound wave, guys. You're releasing it's like worry. It's, it's, like it's like healing, right? Yeah. Oh, you're healed. My stress, I'm healed. You pray to. Everyone prays for you. And then you're like, oh, my God, I hope I don't get cancer. Oh, my God. I hope the doctor's report is good. Like, wait, you just took it back, you know? It totally. It, it, you're releasing that negative frequency into the air, and you just basically fear. cut off the miracle by exactly. going back to that thing. So, yeah, that's and that's the battle of the mind, right? It's like, okay, you did it. You asked. Now let it go. And yeah, because then you keep looking frantically everywhere that you already looked ten times. No, you just gotta, you just gotta stop. Wait for God to manifest it. I always pray, Lord, let it appear somewhere where I'll see it easily. That's what I always say. That's good. I love how you reach into your, the front zipper of your suitcase where you'd probably already look 20,000 times and bam, pulled it right out. <laughs> yeah. It's a, super nice. it's a good I, story. I'm getting better. I'm getting better at not forgetting my stuff. So that's better. <laughs> In the name <laughs> of Jesus. I can Jesus, use my faith for other things instead of finding my wallet and my passports. And my right, right. Let's pray for that. You will not forget <laughs> in Jesus' name. Because <laughs> when you're multitasking and doing 20 different things, you know, it's easy to forget. It, yes, I, I know. It's, it's true. 